If you did your animatic in Storyboard Pro, there's a handy feature in File, Export, and go to Toon Boom, and it will cut up our animatic for us and create Toon Boom Harmony scenes for us automatically. So the first thing we do when we are at our Export to Toon Boom options is we can pick a path by clicking this folder and this will tell Storyboard Pro where to export our Harmony scenes for us. We can give it a scene pattern if we want. Um, if you hover and let the, let the tooltip appear, you can see that there is some tips in there where it'll automatically put our project title and scene name in there. We can also put in our own custom scene patterns if we want, scene name patterns if we'd like. Moving down to export type, the format of either Harmony Offline, Harmony Database, or legacy software Animate and Animate Pro, I'm using Harmony Offline, I'll choose that. For version, we can either do 9.2 or higher, or legacy support of 7.8, I'm going to choose 9.2 or higher. Moving down, we can either choose either a rendered animatic or original scene. Let's look at rendered animatic first. So what this will do is Harm Storyboard Pro will render out a bitmap image for each frame here in our timeline. So if we're working at 24 frames per second, we'll get 24 bitmap images per second. That's for all frames. The next option down here is one frame each, and we can tell it how many frames. So that means right now, by default, it's set to two. So Storyboard Pro will render out a bitmap image every two frames, or we can change it to every five frames, whatever we'd like. And of course, the resolution would be quarter size, half size, full size, making the bitmap images that it renders out into Harmony, either a quarter size, half size, or full size, depending on your preference. And this will tell it how many scenes it will generate, either per on a per scene by scene basis or on a per selection basis. I'll choose per scene. Going down to the next, we have original scene. And this is my personal preference. Uh, it, what it will do is it will preserve all of our vector information inside of Harmony. Um, so if we ever needed to, at a last minute, move things around or even borrow some shapes, or some brush strokes, we could do that. Um, so some of our options here are nest the panels. All of our individual panels will be nested in symbols. I like to choose that because it keeps it clean inside of Harmony. It makes it into one layer. The next option here is add a camera reference layer, which I also like to check because it gives us a little visual reference. If there's any camera moves, it'll give us an indication of where the camera is moving. The next one is transformation will be applied on the first and last position of each panels and anything else in the middle will be left out. So that means if we have some animation here at the beginning of, beginning of this panel, ending at the end of this panel, it will only give us the beginning and the end. It'll cut out whatever's in the middle. That's up to you. I generally leave that off. Moving down to export range, this is sort of self-explanatory. All will obviously export it all or we can select a range of scene numbers by typing in our scene numbers or we can just have current scene which in this case would be this current scene that I'm on. I'll choose all. Some of these options in the tabs will only appear if we are choosing a rendered animatic. For sounds, process soundtracks individually which means if I have multiple soundtracks in here each soundtrack will have its own layer inside of Harmony or it will merge them all to one flat soundtrack. That's a preference. I sometimes will do soundtracks individually if I have a lot of characters speaking at the same time. So sometimes it helps with lip sync inside of Harmony. You can have, so you can turn certain characters on and off. File pattern, again, very similar to our scene pattern at the top. If you hover and let the tooltip appear, it'll give you some guidelines about, you can type in the project name, it'll automatically put in the project name, a scene name, soundtrack number, etc. The sample rate, the bit depth, and our channels are also here for us to choose. Burn in will only be available to us if we choose rendered animatic, and if we check off these options, it will burn in a time code for us. Uh, it can also burn in scene numbers or panel numbers. 
for reference sake, and it could also print in additional duration. As well as camera grids are also only available in rendered animatic. So it'll give us our project safety, a three, four by three safety, and also a four by three reference referring to our aspect ratio of our, of our camera. And once we have all of these set to our liking, we can hit export and Harmony uh, Storyboard Pro will export our Harmony scenes, which I have incidentally already done. So when we go into Harmony, when we open our scene from our machine, the first thing Harmony will do is it will, don't be alarmed if you see this box, it's just finding the colors and loading them up as a color palette. So if I'll hit yes, and if I let it play through, it'll probably start to find more and I'll let it just run through my animatic and just find all of those colors. Let it find it for us. If I hit do not ask again for the session, it won't ask me again. I'll hit yes and it will find all of the colors and here is my animatic. Lovingly preserved in harmony and now easily accessible and easily hideable if I need to re refer to it as I animate.